Our article is entitled Dynamic Firm Location Network Model with Anticipatory Scenarios for the Northeast Ohio Region. In this article, we propose a dynamic model for generating anticipatory scenarios about business location in the regional space to inform policy decisions. We tested the model on the Northeast Ohio region with biennial employment data from 2001 to 2015, and then we examined three intervention scenarios and their anticipated impacts on the region in the long run. Anticipatory scenarios allow us to explore what might happen to a complex system if we do not intervene or if we intervene through various policy decisions. To inform such decisions, we need scenarios that are realistic, anticipate a range of possible outcomes, help counter confirmation bias, and reveal our blind spots. Business location decisions affect the region's economy, environment, and the quality of life in municipalities, and they are spatially interdependent. Policymakers attempt to manage the regional commons by guiding business location to enhance regional well-being, and to do so at times they offer incentives to locate in specific areas within city centers, for instance, and these incentives to locate in green fields and in environmentally sensitive area. In our location model, we compute the rate of change of the proportion of all businesses at any given location as a function of its market potential. Establishments at any two locations, X and Y, interact Businesses migrate in time uh, from less desirable locations with market potential below average to more desirable locations with market potential above average. For Northeast Ohio, we predicted the time evolution of proportions of the total number of businesses in 261 municipalities from 2003 to 2015. We compared the predictions to the actual data. The correlation between the municipalities' actual and model proportions is 0.985 for 2015. We generated three policy scenarios. In the first scenario, we increased Cleveland's share of the market by 2% in four time periods between 2001 and 2007 through tax incentives. In the second scenario, we increased the market share by 0.5% for four time periods in four legacy cities, Cleveland, Akron, Lorraine, and Mentor. In the third scenario, we limited growth to current shares of the region's total in small cities along the environmentally sensitive Cuyahoga River for four time periods. We found interesting long run effects that should give decision makers food for thought. In scenario one, Boost Cleveland, Cleveland and some other cities benefited, such as Akron and Lorraine, but in time they tended to lose their gains. Very small municipalities lost most of or all of the economic activity, eventually disappearing. In scenario two, boost for legacy cities, Cleveland gained for a while, but um, lot of, a lot of its gains in time uh, disappeared, while the other three cities continued to hold on to their gains. Very small municipalities again lost all economic activity. In scenario three, limit growth along the Cuyahoga River, the majority of the other places remain unaffected by the conservation set aside. So overall, we found that the simple spatial model with four parameters holds well over 15 years. We gained policy insights from the test scenarios, and we can produce ranges of impacts by varying the extent of the intervention. The model has some drawbacks, chief among which is that its um, good performance may be specific to a declining region such as Northeast Ohio. We plan to test other types and extents of intervention and produce ranges of impacts. We will test the model with only consumer establishments, which we expect to perform even better. And finally, we're in the process of testing the model on the rapidly growing region of Dallas, Texas. Thank you.